So, ganun battery ko. Ooh. Dad. I have a question. No. I have a question, Dad. I don't have underwear. No, not that, Dad. Do you think vloggers are weird? Yes. Why? Because they always talk to themselves. <laughs> Good point, Dad. Good point. What's up? What's up and welcome back to Mars Daily, your daily dose of photo and video and a little more about me. Okay, so for today guys, I have been curious myself. You know, I asked dad yesterday, kung, yeah, are vloggers weird? And he said yes, it's partly true. There's something weird about vlogging. But then, um, as a vlogger, what makes you unique? By the way, kung vlogger ka, comment down below what makes you unique as a vlogger. So for today, I have three tips on how to be a unique vlogger. Yeah, wait now. Tip number one, if you want to be a unique vlogger, what you have to basically do is manood ka ng maraming maraming vlogger. Kasi from that, sa dami-dami ng mong papanood mong vlogger, isa dun sa mga yun, makakapture mo yung style nila. At higit sa lahat, matututunan mo kung paano yung pattern ng paggawa ng vlogger. Napakaraming aspect, you know, pagdating sa pag-vlog kasi nandiyan yung pagsasalita sa harapan ng camera or yung pag-shoot mo ng mga establishing shots, nandiyan din yung comedic factor mo as a vlogger at syempre yung pagiging consistent mo sa pag-upload. Aside from watching a lot of vloggers, it's also important na you have to learn from it, you also have to incorporate it and you have to learn how to do it. That's tip number one. Learn their style. Okay, tip number two. Aside from learning what their style is, you have to basically find your own weaknesses. So, syempre, kapag nakapag-start ka na ng vlogging, alam mo na yung style na gusto mo, kailangan mo hanapin kung saan ka mahina. Mahina ka ba sa pagsasagda sa harapan ng camera? Sa pagsushoot? Wala ka bang comedic factor? Learn on what you think is missing from your vlogs and improve on that specific skill. Because you might not know that skill that you never worked on might be your greatest weapon on making a really unique vlog. Some vloggers are unique by their own, you know, factor like si Alex Gonzaga. She's a funny vlogger and a lot of people watch that. A lot of people want comedy because it brings out the vibes especially, you know, magandang effect niya sa tao pag nanood ka ng vlog. Meron naman yung iba, sobrang ganda ng mga shots. To the point, na yung vlogs nila, nandun yung cinematic factor. Kung baga sobrang ang daming wow shots, talagang, talagang maganda. As in, talagang mapapastay ka manood ang vlog. Meron din naman mga vloggers na balanced. Nandun yung comedic factor, nandun yung cinematic shots. Pero, sobrang tama nung vlog nila. As in, hindi ka magsasawang manood ng vlog nila. But to be honest, there's only two things why a lot of people, you know, come and watch your vlogs. Two things. Two things lang yun. And those two things are basically creativity and personality which is true hindi ko akalain darating ako sa point na ito na nag-vlog ako at nag-ugos ako ng plato yeah so creativity and personality those are the main two factors kung bakit meron kang audience it's either they watch your vlogs because of your personality or because of your creativity always keep those two things in mind mag-ugos mo na ang plato <laughs> At ito, dumating na tayo sa point na kailangan ko maghugas ng plato habang nag-vlog I have never, ever imagined myself doing this kasi Yeah, this is a daily vlog so I have to, you know, be consistent in uploading And, you know, today is actually episode 6 So yeah, if you're continuously watching this vlog Congratulations at thank you for you know, watching the daily vlog. I really appreciate you for that. And also for commenting. And yeah, by the way, thanks for uh, feedback ko pagdating sa mga montage ko. I really, really, um, I really love it when you... Mira pala na ito, nag-vlog ba, nag-ugos ng plato. I really appreciate it when you guys, you know, keep commenting on my videos about the work I do. But let's get down to the main point of this vlog for today. Tip number three is build your own style. By that, I need to specifically, 
um, you have to build on top of the style of the vlogger that you usually watch. Kung baga, um, let's just say idol mo si Casey Neistat or idol mo si Will Dasovich or idol mo si... Sino mang Pinay-Pinoy vlogger na napapanood mo madalas? What's gonna happen at first is that sa sobrang idol mo, you know, sobrang ina-idol mo sila, magagaya mo yung style nila. I know some people that do that and usually or eventually nakaka-build up sila ng sarili nilang style from vlogging. It does take time but as early as you can, kung kalug ka, makakagawa ka ng super lupit na sarili mong style sa pag-vlog. Ako, personally, it took quite some time for me to find my own style when it comes to vlogging. Kasi marami nang nagawa ng, ng montage, marami nang nagawa ng, ng cinematic sequences, tsaka, you know, almost all vloggers, or some vloggers, na bago ngayon, somewhat naging similar na ang style. So, tip number three, to become the vlogger that you are supposed to be, you have to build your own style. Build on top of their styles. Patungo mo ng iba-ibang klaseng style. Let's say, may isa kang vlogger na pinapanood, paghaluin mo yung style nila, paghaluin mo yung style ni Peter, ni Casey, or sabihin na natin, style ni Lloyd pa nag-vlog, ihalo mo sa style ni Will, or kung malakong TV ka, haluan mo ng style ni Roger Rocker. It works something like that. Wow, I'm becoming, you know, you know, daily vlogging is becoming much more easier for me right now dahil, yeah, I just shot this vlog today and I finished it today. Which usually takes some time that it's a ng laptop ko, but so far I'm doing good. And yeah, those are the basic tips, three unique tips that I want you guys to know. And yeah, if you want to be a vlogger, maybe let's do that tomorrow. Kung gusto mong maging vlogger, i-share ko sa iyo yung mga necessary requirements mo para ba maging vlogger tomorrow. Yeah. And of course, siyempre guys, wait lang. At siyempre, wag mo nang kalimutan mag-like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell para lagi kang notified sa ating 15-day daily vlogging challenge. And don't forget if I fail to upload a single day on this 15-day challenge, I will be, you know, doing the Dalagang Filipina Challenge and I'll take a shot of um, Tabasco sauce, I think. Yun yata yung deal. Yata yung deal namin ni Jan. Jan, comment down below kung ano yung consequence para makita nila kapag di ako nakapag-upload ng 15-day daily vlogging challenge. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Leave a like if, you know, you think those three tips are A-OK. -okay. Woo! I, we can do this. I can do this. Woo! I can do this. 15 day daily vlogging challenge almost half I'm done yeah like comment share subscribe peace out